Hello, everyone. Good morning, afternoon, and evening, and welcome back to another episode of the Something Original Podcast. I am the man behind the camera, Adrian, along with our host... Chase. And Gannon. <laughs> Worst timing ever. <laughs> welcome back, guys. I, Thanks, Adrian, think, for kicking us off. I think it was quite organic. I think it felt organic. It was definitely original. If I if I were to put a if I were to put a name to it, it would be something original. Something original. But hey, guys, welcome back um, to another episode. Um, we got we got a fucking amazing show for you guys. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I'll tell you what. <laughs> I just, my mind went blank. Okay, real question though. How do you guys like the chibi, chibi type of animes? I, I don't like it. I'm not a big fan of it. Okay. Me and Ganon played this, that Gundam game yesterday, Adrian, with the, the chibi Gundams. How was it? And eh, eh, it, was, eh. it was like, a, if I had to rate it, it was like a three- out of 10 <laughs> so not not as good as the gun it's game. crazy because i thought it was decent i thought it was like all right you know for the meantime hang on i mean what, what would uh what would you rate it uh 4.5 okay well not doing much better that doesn't sound too good well i don't want to put it up in like good like real good like decent tier like mad decent tier you know you can't do it's that. definitely it had a cool ish and honestly uh, i didn't get too far into it i was still on the tutorial and i was like okay i feel like this is how the game's gonna go just overall mm-hmm. the boss fight was kind of cool and it was challenging enough but yeah you know and the chi- the chibi art style just wasn't like am i saying that is it chibi i thought it was chibi, pronounced right? like chibi but i don't know I'm gonna that say chibi. Like a, yeah, I think it's chibi. Chibi sounds like um, off. And I'm studying Japanese, so it's pronounced chibi. Mm-hmm. I'm I'm going with that too. I've watched enough anime where I can say I might know some Japanese, so I'm gonna say chibi as well. Give me your give me your best Japanese right now. Konnichiwa. <laughs> How you, how you liking that? <clears throat> How'd you mean, must Undari, you this. Boku no no mai wa chase this. You've, you've worked on your accent there. You sounded less, a lot less female. You sounded more just like Boku no no mai wa. Oh, well. Oh, well. Dan, you really do. You have like, if you actually learn Japanese, you got a real like deep voice for it. You can actually like do the deep voice. It doesn't seem too forced. Ohio gozaimas. Ohio gozaimas. See, that's the that's the best thing because me, me and Gannon, Ohio guys, right here. Good morning in Japanese is <clears throat> Ohio. Oh, nice. I like that. And then gozaimas, you say that after gozaimasu. Watch, watch, lo- watch Lost History, and turns out like. Ohio at one point was Japanese. And it means good morning. Cuz that's what you th- that's what you feel when you go through and it's just like you have a fentanyl heroin and crack riddled town. It's <laughs> good morning, <laughs> you know. Yeah. I was going to ask I, you guys I mean, that like how was it growing up in uh Ohio? Um, we talked about it before, but the hometown we grew up in, or at least I grew up in, I think, when did you move to Lewisburg, Gannon? I moved to Lewisburg at the end of the fourth grade, beginning of the fifth grade. So pretty, pretty, still pretty young, you would say, right? Man, I'm D-Town all the way, baby. Detroit? I mean, I would, 
I would claim I would claim <laughs> Detroit. No. <laughs> we have its shittier cousin, Adrian Dayton, Ohio. All right. <clears throat> oh, Get your. You mean don't soil the name. You mean the the Big D? No Detroit. Dayton, Ohio. The Big D, no Detroit, baby. That's just how we keeping it out here, for real. Yo. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Mm-hmm. 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 Oh, you know, I was thinking again when I'm when I'm out there. We we should. If I have time, I don't know if I'm gonna have time, but we should absolutely get uh, some luckies. I'm down. I'm actually too down, man. I'm about to go and get one of them. Uh, More like D Town. Uh, don't go. What? More like D Town. Yeah, <laughs> man. You know, we go. We go get some bevs. Like old some dimes. bevs. Oh yeah. yeah. We could sing some we'll, songs. We'll talk about maybe potentially starting a podcast. Hopefully. That sounds like, like a good times. idea. You guys should do it. Mm. Maybe. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I have like the face or voice for it. What would you name yeah, it? Even, you know? It's got to be oh, something I, original. I don't know. It does have to be something original. Um, I mean, ah, think, it's uh, just on the tip of my tongue, though. Just yeah. on the Probably tip of my penis, yeah. Turtle, Turtleberry Ricky and the Boys. Mm. I like it. <laughs> I like it. You should honestly have... That should be your... Uh, <laughs> that should be like the the exclusive show eventually down the road like you you host again oh, the boys that would be cool i would think turtle i think turtle Boy ricky's gonna be british though so then i'll have you guys on it'll be like a talk show well no that's kind of like next caller dang it dang yeah, it yeah that is like exactly <laughs> like next caller ah, this it's like we already okay. do this i'm pretty sure we had a turtleberry as one of the next callers too did we well it's his, it's his cousin, um, Throwberry Ricky, and the boys. And, and the thing is, anyone can join the, you know, and what we'll, we'll talk about conspiracies and um, how the government's bad. And so just like this podcast. <laughs> Except um, in private. Hang on. Hang on. <laughs> hang on. Um, all right. Fine. I'll just go back and forth with myself for hours using different personalities and voices and I, see how far i can go before i just lose it you know i brought I this like up i feel like dude, we've already kind of thought of all of this you you are too right though it's crazy man um we we uh i brought this up in the group chat uh like a couple weeks ago and i think adrian responded to it he he said, uh, or I I said we should have an episode of the podcast where we interview. We have a AI guest on the podcast. AI and th- there those are like there's vision? like these. What? <laughs> we're getting oh yeah we're getting yeah. Paul <laughs> Bettany on the podcast. That'd we're fucking sweet. entering the cool, MCU cool right that. now. But like it, there's there's these like softwares out there already where it's like I've seen people do it for their pot for their own podcast we're just stealing content you know it's original stuff um but Whoa. they they set up the they set up the software and they can choose a face choose a voice and it responds to voice input and you can just have them up on your on your podcast thing and it's just, it's literally just a computer you're talking to a computer it's talking back to you oh then we can just ask ask them anything yeah hmm. wait so could ai be non-binary when technically it's binary wouldn't that just make it binary is that a, is that a new you know, are we coming up if we, you, yeah, yeah are we coming up you, with a new thing because it wouldn't be what? non-binary because it would binary, be binary. It's binary code. Oh, what? <laughs> Interesting. Hold up. If somebody get LGBTQ plus on the phone right now. <laughs> we need to talk to the headquarters. Interesting. Truthful. Wow. Didn't think about that. We should ask the AI that when we when it, we have them on. It. Sorry. Absolutely. I will. Be or we can do that for your show. Some, Maybe start off with some easy questions like, um, you know, like, hey, what's your favorite color? What's the meaning of life? <laughs> Who actually killed Hitler? Um, Me and JFK. 
how many different um, <laughs> intelligent life forms out there are in the world. Yeah. Or in the universe. Yeah. yeah. Well, probably none. Do you think humans are an intelligent life form? That's what I was going. That's where I was going. Well, with it. we're technically not a category one civilization, tier one civilization. So, we're not intelligent. Wait, I still. Then what? Where do we? What are we going off of as a tier one? We don't even know what that is. Then. Yeah, we 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 know what a tier one, tier two, and tier three what, are. Wait, how, but so how do what, we know this? So what are we? What tier? Well, it's yeah, just, exactly. It's, what tier are we? <laughs> in, it's. In, in like comparison to what other civilization of human it's just more of like a theory it's more of an idea of like what we could eventually get up to it's like a thought kind of thing we talked about it before on the podcast it's like a tier one civilization is like it's a civilization that is able to use it has fully gone 100 percent like renewable resources they are able to take uh um like they they're able to sustain energy from like solar wind and all that stuff but we aren't fully 100 percent there we're they say we're like 0.78 percent or no we're 0.8 percent we're 78 percent there to a a tier one civilization like you a tier firmly, two. You firmly believe we're seventy eight percent to what you just described. Well, that's just what the person who like made the yeah. tier system. Well, who said. is this person? Like, who deemed <laughs> that? His name. Who, who, yeah. who Adrian, it's your business. job. Look it up, Adrian. God, what are you doing? <laughs> what are we fucking paying you for? But, but, but listen, 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 listen. Because, like, in the sense of like renewable energy and like being able to um that's what i'm looking for sustainable energy yeah because like even how we're all trying to switch to like make this make a switch to like electric cars right yeah i mean for the Uh most part um are these factories that are mass producing these and totally pumping these out as much as possible fully ran by solar or electrical energy no absolutely well if they are ran by electrical energy it's still not good because you need some sort of like background energy to produce that electricity you know you need like gasoline and all this other shit to be running these facilities if it's 100 percent, i think i think elon talked about making like a giga city giga city I'm totally on board for that because that's like a solar panel city. The same guy that Elon? hasn't felt the same guy that hasn't felt Elon. Yeah, finished, the, the like, same guy uh, you hate the passion. I that's the he. I don't know if he came up with the idea. Maybe I'm just like totally giving this guy credit hey, where credit hey, may not be due. <laughs> Hey man, all I gotta say is you Buddy like owes us Elon a bullet train, bro. Boy. Buddy owes us a bullet train, bro. He does, he does a, yeah, for sure. He yeah. owes us a national rail system. We should have been making that in like 20, 2008, I believe. That right. would have been like where we started he's a, doing it. He says, and then guy. Elon came around and was like, "I'm gonna actually make an underground tunnel," and he only made like three miles worth of hyperloop. Pl- plot twist: He's a mole person. He does look like a mole. From like Johnny Test, he looks like he hasn't been in the sun for years. No, this for is all, sure. This is ad, this is adding up now. I feel like if he does step outside in the sun, his skin's just gonna melt and become a goop, a glob. I feel like he just spits how, on random babies sun? sometimes. How's that, how's that research coming along? Oh, Adrian? so you were talking about the the Kardashev scale proposed by yes. Soviet astronomer Nikolai Kardashev in 1964. Even though the scale yes. is hypothetical in regards to energy consumption on a cosmic scale, cosmic scale, yes, it cosmic. really doesn't make sense how you would harness the energy of the galaxy. That'd be well, the, I think. I think in his it all his, sounds his, comic like, book, really. Well, I mean, it, it, yeah, I mean, it's all hypothetical. Could you, you imagine? Know? Could you? I think. Imagine? I think his. Uh, I think his tier three idea. It was like harnessing the energy from a black hole, 
no, type three, a civilization in possession of energy at energy? the scale of its own galaxy. Is this considered dark energy? Mm, I is don't it? think so. Like dark matter, you mean? Yeah, dark matter. It is. Can you look up what it? What would that? The appropriate way to question that be? Well, isn't dark matter just whatever is not like an object in space? Like, if you're just in space, you're technically in dark matter, or well, is that different? It says dark matter is a hypothetical form of matter thought to account for approximately 85% of the matter in the universe. You're right. Too. Dark matter is called dark because it does not appear to interact with the electromagnetic field, which means it does not absorb, reflect, or admit electromagnetic radiation and is therefore difficult to detect. Did you hear me cough? No, it, it didn't come through, but it, it was funny the way you were... <laughs> <laughs> it's, hand, it's like super handy. I I could like use my hands. I could I could do all kinds of stuff now. So much room for activities. I knew you were gonna. I knew you were gonna quote it. Greatest movie in yeah, the world. I one. I must one quote up. it. I it is a reflex, my boy. <laughs> it's a it fantastic is. movie. Way better than Footloose, the reboot. All right. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Time out. Low that, blow there. That, that seemed like a very precise. <laughs> it was meant to be. That's for yelling at me earlier. Yeah, in that case. <laughs> I heard that verbal abuse. Yeah. Well, he was. he's the one that's like, eh, no. this doesn't make sense. It's like, well, you can look it up, Adrian. Jeez, what are you here for? <laughs> Foot loose. Nice <laughs> Foot loose. Foot <laughs> loose. You should get a right. on you. Mm -hmm. Foot loose. All right, million subscribers. Underneath your right foot, so you know you're not gonna worry about it. But it's under your underneath the foot under, underneath the other one. It's got to say, "Kick off your Sunday shoes." Kick off your Sunday shoes. <laughs> oh. I like it. Yeah, if, I mean, I I would totally do it. You would get a, a million on the bottom of your foot. I feel like that. Hurt. Yeah, I would do it. I feel like that would it would hurt. probably hurt, but I'll do it for a million YouTube, a million YouTube subscribers. It's an ongoing. The second we hit a million YouTube subscribers, I will tattoo my foot. Yeah, I'm posting this on TikTok. I'm gonna hold you to do the it. word. I'm nice. all about it. Type noise. You do that, and I'll get like a dagger or something. You know. Oh. Okay, you'll get something cool, and I'll get <laughs> <laughs> something I was planning on getting anyways. Yeah, on your foot, really? Not on my foot for sure. I'm gonna do my like visible because you know I wanna want it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna, want it. I'm gonna go to the beach, and people are just gonna be like, "Oh, should I say like foot loose, but not the original?" The sequel underneath. The reboot. Foot loose the sequel. The reboot. That, yeah. yeah. And it makes sense because it has boot in the name. Mm -hmm. Love it. And then you got to wear foot. boots and take off your boot to show them your tattoo that says boot. Nice. Okay. It's like Inception. Yeah. And it's also like Russian, Russian dolls. foot is now loose. It's like one of those Russian dolls where you just like keep popping it open and then there's like another layer huh. and another layer. Mm. Mm -hmm. And eventually we'll get to my deepest insecurities, you know. And, but is it that you can't dance? All right, guys, we're going to end it here. Is it really? <laughs> well, it's not my deepest foot, insecurity. Why Footloose is his favorite? It's like something he wants. He's always Yeah, it's like I'm, pr I'm projecting. I'm trying to be like that, you know? If it yeah, makes you feel you better, I can't dance man. at it. So. I can, can slow anybody dance. Really... Gannon, can you dance? Yeah, I got rhythm, bro. No, for sure. not really, no. You can, you can ask people. I've got videos. He doesn't. I'm also drunk in those videos. If they were at one of them was at work. <laughs> Multiple of them were at work. I'm not even I, I was around. drunk in those videos. <laughs> I really do got rhythm though. I was probably drunk taking those videos, to be honest. Okay. He's capping. Oh. He's a square. <laughs> um what else are we talking about today, boys? Okay. I was gonna Catholic ask cathedrals, uh, are they good? Okay. <laughs> probably <laughs> not. <laughs> <laughs> are you a practicing catholic they're probably not good for you <laughs> right 
Maybe. It sounded like the start of a news story. That's what I was trying for, honestly. <laughs> well, yeah, that report came out. More the, the Catholic. Tonight that would be seven. something. Somebody get Borat on the phone, bro. Oh, Sasha Baron Cohen? He is hilarious. Borat so have... inside. That should be the sequel. Borat inside the Catholic Church. That the would be awesome, of Borat actually. and the Pope. And yeah, get the Pope, too. That'd be so funny. Even if, you know, like somehow Borat's Loki behind all of it, too. He's like with the Illuminati and all that. He is the Illuminati. So he could actually probably get in with the Pope and make this a real thing. It still would be funny. I'd watch it. Even, you know. Should we should we get him on? Borat? Yeah, oh, yeah, I'll just yeah, yeah. D- I would, I'll DM him. Yeah. I'll make a few I'm calls. sure he would. I got it. Let yeah. me take. I'm pre- I, I'm the producer. I, I'll take care of it. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Adrian, do do your job. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna DM like a hundred different celebrities. Hey, you want to be on our podcast? Okay. If you had a if you had a dream list of celebrities, who would you want on? Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn, dude. Yes. That would be insane. I would, I would not be able to talk because I'd be crying the entire interview. That'd be so. F- I Every can't... time I see a video, he's of so that man, funny. It's just, it, it's just something outrageous. Yeah, and you feel like you should be prepared for it, but you're just but not. You're never, never are. Do you, you just, just uh, speaks in intrusive thoughts? You know? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Theo, if you're if you're listening, please. I know you're doing your whole podcast circuit right now, but yeah, let's please. get him on here. Oh, um, Woody Harrelson. That'd be Shaq, good. big Shaq I f- Diesel. I, I feel like Shaq. he might be a little too boring. What on but our he's a, he's on our DJ. podcast? I just I don't know, man. I just feel like he no, no, no. I take place. it. I take it back. I take it back. He'll he'll bring no. He'll he'll bring it for sure. Shaq brings energy constantly. Okay, so Shaq. I had big chicken last week. That's funny you say that for the first time. Good place. Um. Yeah, what? Who else? Who else? Robert's in, uh Robert Downey Jr. for sure. That'd be fun. Dream be fun. list. Um Nikola Tesla, we're going to get a time machine. Um <laughs> we We're going to get a time machine. With that also um US Grant for sure. I want to talk to him. Um, oh, who's the chick from um Parks and Rec? You know. Leslie, oh, Leslie Nope. The girl, the lady that plays Leslie Nope? No. Uh Andy's Andy's wife. Oh, Aubrey Plaza? Aubrey Plaza. Her yeah. Uh, that'd be she's, I was gonna she's guess she's fucking honestly. hilarious. That'd be pretty funny. Um, that would be funny. Or Maya Rudolph. She's also a hilarious woman. I would like Keanu Reeves on here. Keanu I just feel sweet. like he'd be a wholesome guy. He would just talk about how he just he like saved forty orphans in a fire, you know. <laughs> Uh, John Bernthal, <laughs> the guy who played Punisher. Yeah, that'd be cool. Ed Hardy. Ed Hardy. What? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy. My Jeff Tom Hardy. Hardy. Ed. Tom Petty. Yeah. Tom. Tom Petty's not alive. Well, he's bringing back Nikola Tesla, you know. So. <laughs> Bro, time you have a time machine, Adrian. You goofball, man. Let's get Tom um, Brady on here. King Solomon goofball. of the Bible would definitely be on there. <laughs> Should Why we just this- bring on JC though? Like, just ask him, like, "Hey, dude, like, what what happened?" I mean, honestly, real? we could just get Hitler and get his side of the story. Okay, I knew <laughs> somebody was gonna bring up. <laughs> The brig in his side of the story, you know he's just gonna be like, yo. Oh no! What we do, what we do, we like get like just say some. We get like cloaks, shit. right? We get cloaks with our time machine. We go mm-hmm. back in time to like right before he started getting weird, right? And then we'll show up and we'll be like, we are from another dimension. Do not do what you're going to do, and then we'll just disappear. Wouldn't that just egg him on a little bit more? Yeah, he might just be, like, he might blame the Jews for that. He might blame us for it. He'll be like time traveling Jews. We do all have textured hair. He would he probably think it was. I'm 
I'm part German, though, you know? I mean, you guys are wasting your time with the time machine. I'm just going back in time. I'm finally... I'm finding uh, Marilyn Monroe. I am begging her to make me a man slave to her, and that is that is it. I'll spend the rest of my days <laughs> as Marilyn Monroe's man slave. You need. Jesus. You know this is on the internet. You, this you is on the Jesus. internet forever. I, I hope it's on the internet. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, he's so not. You know here. what? There is people ide- who <laughs> identify with me about that. <laughs> Hey, hot take. I don't think Marilyn Monroe was that attractive. Okay, take that back. She honestly... Okay. You know, what Adrian said was too far, but at the same time, Chase, what you said was also too far. So yeah, you're on, the extreme, not you're on the extreme other side of this. How dare uh, you say that? I mean, you know, it's uh, the hard right and the hard left, and I'm, I'm taking a side. Well, you took the wrong one. <laughs> was, was, was that a slip of the tongue, or what? Was that the wrong one? That was the wrong one. You know what would benefit probably all of us if we had a time machine? Go back in time. We bring Genghis Khan onto the onto the podcast, and we just we get a how to on how he did it, and then we do it. Why? <laughs> Why would we do that, Adrian? Because he so statistically, many he statistically, killed- if Genghis Khan's wealth had carried over through inflation till now, he'd be the richest person in the world. If we did that today, we would be the richest people in the world, but it's not ethical. Or you Adrian. know what? We bring we bring Genghis Khan back <laughs> today, right? Right? We bring him in. He the would fold. chop our heads off first but before we hey, do global anything. warming would be okay. not done. Global warming would be over with though. You bring you bring him back with a time machine, he's still stuck in his era. He doesn't know what's going on. He charges at us Three shots to the knee. What is he gonna do? He's probably gonna. He's probably gonna not know what to do. He probably pooped himself. Probably he like, probably <laughs> shit himself. <laughs> what kind of sorcery is this? He'd probably, he'd probably die if we shoot him, right? Uh, no. Knee? See, we're in the 21st century. We have the technology. Yeah. So what witchcraft is this? You use this. And wand. then we we just we just break we bring him up to speed on where the world is at, and then we just we bring him in like, hey, we're going to four-way this. We're just going to take over the world because you're gonna, we're going to be the richest people in the world. And, and, you know. uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm, not on, I'm not on board. I, I, don't, I don't see a, a well, positive that, side want, of the rainbow. I want Alexander the one. Great. I want to bring Alexander the Great on. And then, that'll be my guy. Imagine how history would be if we went back in time and just said, Julius Caesar, don't go there. They're going to kill you. And disappeared. Hey, JFK, man. Hey, what's up, my homie? Don't JFK. get in that car, bro. Don't, don't do it. Don't get in that car, my dude. That's Johnny all Boy. I'm to tell you, man. When you're in the car, duck. Or just your, don't get in the car. Make sure you're just holding your wife like this. Just body dump. Well, don't do the wife dirty. (laughs) (laughs) There's must be sacrifices. Just hit the driver. The driver was in on it. Jackie got to go, dude. We're moving on. We're going to make a better nation because of this. And if you ever hear the name Ronald Reagan, by all means, stop him at all costs. (laughs) No matter what, set him up for failure go back in time nixon you will get caught for this just don't do it where, nixon where just Jeff don't from? even run like where's that accent i think he's it's from like... california but he oh um, really yeah, yeah like, i think i he thought just... it was just like a 1960s like... accent or whatever yeah it's actually <laughs> it's crazy because cool. cool. a lot of people back in the day it was i think it's a, a uh because I, I saw a video about it it was like because, like, radio technology isn't as good as it is now. So they, like, people on the radio, people who had to always talk, they had to kind of change the way they talked. It was like a Transylvanian accent is what they called it. Or Transamerica, Transamerican yeah. accent or something. Something like that. To be, it was, like, more higher pitched and more, like, hey, yeah, archy. Hey. Yeah. So it could pick up in the mic. I'm not a crook. I am not I'm a crook. not a crook. But JFK was born in Brookline, Massachusetts. 
Oh, he's got a Massachusetts. That's a Massachusetts uh, accent, but with that on top of it, that's mm-hmm. why it sounds like that. Whoa. 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 Um, Hogwarts Whoa. Legacy, though, that's a good transition. <laughs> um, so good. I cannot. Well, stop. we have pretty good segue. Uh, our editor, he's a pretty good editor, you know. He oh, does whatever. the segues and. Yeah, stroke yourself more, you fucking narcissist. I will. I didn't name names. I was just saying our editor's just pretty handsome and good looking, and I wish he would, you know, answer my calls, but it's, you know, whatever. Anyways. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Chase, did you ever redo your uh, wizarding quiz? I did. I did it today. Guess what, guys? What are you? Ravenclaw. I'm still Ravenclaw. Oh, I thought you were a Hufflepuff. Nah, you ain't gonna catch me lacking like that, bro. Like, That's fine. I ain't no huffly puffly, bro. Like I'm, I'm a Ravenclaw. The other Wait, three of us are Slytherin, so yeah, we're I slimy know. on this side. We slimy, yeah. bro. I did retake it today, and I did yeah. get Slytherin randomly. It was just ran- I was just like, what the fuck? It was the first time I did the app, you know? You did it through the app on- too. I did it through the app, Super and cool. I, uh, I was doing it on the website. I was just going on Safari and doing it, and I was getting. Ravenclaw all all through and then I downloaded the app, I restarted, and I got Slytherin and I was like, What the fuck? Like that's weird. I've never gotten Slytherin. So I redid it and then I got Ravenclaw again because the questions changed and I was like, Oh, that's crazy. I was I wanted Ravenclaw, but I got Slytherin. Same. So I was like, I'm gonna own it. What's your uh, Patronus, <laughs> Chase? Um it was a doe, but now it's a weasel. Oh. You're not on the bird gang. Yeah, bird gang, baby. Mine's a heron. I knew that question was coming. Mine is <laughs> a. I think it's a hawk. You see, yeah, it was something. It was like a. It's a sparrow hawk. hawk. Sparrow hawk, yeah. Yeah. That was cool. What kind of wood did you get? Or what kind of. Yeah, wood for I, your wand? You know what wood I got? Um... I got <laughs> hawthorn and phoenix core. What? You got a. Ew. I got a I got a uh, ashwood with a unicorn core. Oh, Alderwood with a dragon core, of course. <laughs> hard, ours go hard. Yeah, you, I think Ganon, you have you and Shiloh both have the same wand, and they're one of the most OP wands in the Harry Potter lore. Like yeah. if you have a dragon, if you have a dragon core, it's like the best. No, that's just how I roll. Phoenix core is usually the best, and then oh Elder yes, wood that's right, that's right. Yep, is yeah, is the good. best wood. Well, dragon core is still better because it's a dragon. Dragon core Phoenix. sounds harder though. Yeah, dragon. And unicorns stab people. So older now. See if it was Ashwood with a dragon core. Now that would be a cool combo. That would sound cool. I got you that got Ashwood one. Ashwood with that unyielding just, flexibility. Yeah. But I, should, should we should we kind of like talk about the controversy though before we start going hard on Hogwarts? Oh fuck J.K. Just Rowling! A, That's all we gotta say. Just like get it out of the way. Fuck J.K. Rowling. She sucks. We're pro trans, pro trans community. Oh, but you have non binary. There's, there's non binary options in the character customization. Yeah, well, I mean, the whole the whole dev team really tried to steer away from J.K. Rowling. I know she's still going to take a cut because it's her IP, but there were trans people that worked on the game. Like, Daniel Radcliffe even said, like, you know, if you just think about the whole Harry Potter universe, it's like a huge magical universe where it obviously inspired a lot of people who identified with it to, like, express themselves on who they truly believe they are, you know, and... It, it, so obviously a lot of people in the trans community are Harry Potter fans, but it sucks that J.K. Rowling just went the opposite direction with that. Yeah. But you cannot be a uh, ethical consumer in capitalism, you know? So, I mean... They put the gun to our head. You know? They did. I mean, it's so it, it good. Was... It's so good. <laughs> so, so good. good. So Ganon, you've been playing it. Adrian, you haven't you don't have it yet. No, I will be getting it. It is a slippery it is a slippery it'll get you because 
I started playing. I was like, you know what? I'll get on. I'll try it for a little bit. And I was supposed to like go and like hang out with my friends later on. So I like fired her up, you know, and I start playing and playing. And then I'm like, next thing you know, it's 10 p.m. I'm like, okay, well, I'm already this far. Might as well keep going, right? 1 a.m. Yeah. goes around. I'm like, I need to go to sleep. <laughs> It was, and the, the thing is, I haven't got like in the story of it. I have not gotten that far, but I have a lot of cool stuff because I've been adventuring. <laughs> this is what I do, you know. Come on, man. I, I yeah. open world. You know, what I'm doing. I'm stretching my legs out. I don't care about posts in this class. I'm going out into the forbidden forest. <laughs> I don't care about all this. You know, you're you, you're giving me all. The, I don't need these answers. You know. Yeah. Yeah. I'm like, I I basically learned like the I'm a wizard like uh from Black Clover, Adrian, the sister. The she's got like the fire power. Oh, Wait, uh, Fuego, sister, Merleona, Merleona. Yeah. She goes out and trains in the woods. She doesn't even she doesn't do none of that capital stuff. She's like, I don't care about none of that. I'm trying to throw hands. I'm trying to learn magic. Okay, so that's the part like I kind of like stopped watching oh. and kind of like picking up from. Well, I spoiled it for you. She's OP. No, I, well, she's I, like one of I the know strongest. what happens with all that. Yeah. She's like one I'm of the like strongest. I'm like a couple episodes past that. She is. And she's, she's not been trained by anybody. Just out in the woods. That's me. Mm, you're not him. <laughs> you're not her. him. So are you, are you going to go for the unforgivable curses when you, one when of you them. get there? I'm going to use one. No, nope. there's one where there's one where you're in the heart. Uh, not me. Um, <laughs> I'm using one where I can like control enemies to fight each other. That's the one I'm using. Misdirection. Okay, that one's hard. Not, that it's one's not hard. the worst. I'm see. That's what I'm saying. I'm not a part of it. They they're killing each other. I'm not a part of this. Somebody made a point on on TikTok about the uh, what's the killing curse. Avada Kedavra, yeah. Kedar- Kedarva, Ked- yeah. Avada Kedavra, Kedavra. <laughs> anyway, the cheap. killing, the killing curse. Somebody was saying like, how is this curse, like, so unforgivable? But there's a curse being taught the students that makes them explode, called bombarda or whatever. Mm. It's like it's like a the killing curse is a very simple it's like painless death curse, but the bombarda spell I, I think it's it, painless. It didn't look very painless in the movie. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it did not look painless. Well, I think just death is. You it looked know, like they got like, dragged from this existence. Yeah, it's not an instant death situation. Well, well isn't like death being dragged? From your life, by who? Yeah, by whatever caused death. I don't know. Or the Green Reaper. Um. Yeah, man. I'm the Green Reaper. <laughs> just, just. Why? Why do you do this? It was going us? so long, but you didn't say one, man. <laughs> I had to. Somebody should uh, like start tallying up all of. Uh, Adrian's homoerotic Tourette's just outburst. We got two today. T- t- put, tell the editor to put it put a count in there. Ah, uh, yeah, the editor's pretty uh, stretched thin. You know, yeah. uh, I don't think. Oh, you can... you were talking earlier about how amazing they are and all that. So. Well, I'm just yeah, saying he's got a he's the, got a lot of his on his plate. You know, the real the real uh, guy though is definitely the producer. <laughs> Fuck that guy. <laughs> No tell him though. <laughs> mm. Yeah, dude, our producer sucks. Like he the co host though. Half What's the that guy's name? I hate that dude. The co host. I, I like that guy. That yeah, dude. Cool. The co- the other co host too. He he's pretty dude. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But there's also oh. the other co host besides that one. You know. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Gotcha. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, he's cool. He's cool. Are you talking I about the co host? Are you talking about the host with the crooked nose or the host with the mid haircut? I'm talking about the <laughs> Which producer with, that looks about? like Absol, goofball, 
Looks like Cheech from <laughs> Cheech and Chong had us. I'm I'm gonna mark up now. I'm not done. I'm back. <laughs> Fuck corn ball. Then I'm done. Jeez. <laughs> oh, um. So, 2319 head S. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, man. Um, we're chilling. We're living. Yeah, life. dude. We're just living. We're vibing. But how, we're okay. So going back to Hogwarts, how, how like rated on a scale of one to ten? How how you enjoying it? Do you think this game is? I think he's gonna say a ten. No, I'm not. I'm gonna say an eight. Multiplayer oh. killing it for me. Oh yeah, yeah. That is like the huge. fact that you cannot play with your homies, and the fact that it seems like it would be the perfect setup for that. You have all these different, you know, factions or um, houses. Was, houses. Yep. See, I'm not. See, I'm out in the woods, man. I don't know anything about it. Um, <laughs> I haven't been going to class. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been going to class. Um, barely even remember that I'm Slytherin. I've been out there for so long. Um, <clears throat> but. Yeah, man. I would say eight because of that reason alone. I they have to make they have to add it in. They have to. And Quidditch. Why the fuck is Quidditch not in it? Add both of those things, and this is going to be a perfect. Well, game. was Quidditch it's so around clean. in the? What is it like the? Yeah, they they have the they yeah, have the, the uh, field yeah. on the game. Oh, they, that's the, stupid. The instructor even tells you when you show up, uh, show up after the sorting hat ceremony. He said that Quidditch is like, for right now, closed. So probably eventually we'll add it because they have the arena. Oh yeah, yeah. The arena is there. I've walked by it. It's there on my way to the Forbidden Forest. It's there. You know. So it sounds like they're teasing it, kind of. They're like, oh, it's mm-hmm. it's closed right now. So it'll come out eventually. Play. I just want to be so... able to jump chase, you know, from a good old Slytherin beat down. What well, do you think? Because I do think they'll probably add multiplayer eventually, because um, they're already making mods for it for PC. But what I was thinking about also, they don't have that many spells you can learn, like that mm-hmm. many, right now. It's only like twenty-eight, I believe. Yeah. Spells. Like relatively speaking, I was thinking about it in an RPG, you know, type game. Like if you would get on with the homies and even did co-op. I was thinking, like, you can't. There's not enough. Like, I feel like it would have to like break down a little more. So like, you have like healer, you know. But then yeah. I don't know. Then I feel like it would lose some of its integrity, though, as like a game. I feel like it well, will I mean, you be don't have easier to, include, to balance. You don't have to include the whole role system either. You could just yeah. all be wizards, just wizarding. No. And fight each other. I'm jump chase you out I'm or just down. fucking quidditch i why am i getting jumped in all these bro, s- I'm scenarios for fucking ravenclaw <laughs> bro i'm slithering i'm slimy bro i don't care who it is everybody's just getting this blaster <laughs> i don't care man <laughs> this one i don't care about, i'm on the woods man i don't care about none of that i'm on the woods i'm on the forbidden forest man i'm out just... in the woods this could be the episode title out in the woods i'm out in the woods <laughs> man i'm telling you that's the training arc, bro. It's it's getting legit. Chase, I like how you always just announce. You're like, that's gonna be the title. It helps me honestly when yeah. I'm editing because I can't think of the fucking title beforehand. So I'm editing, and in the middle, when I find like a good like soundbite, I'm like, that's the title. But then I have to go back and like make the thumbnail. How do you bite the sound? Like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's the thumbnail. <laughs> That's the thumbnail right That's there. That's what I'm here for, guys. Dude, I've been... See, he's been the, the thumbnail ever... Like, every week. Except for, like, I'm... once. See, that's oh. what I do, man. I come up with the names, and then I come up with thumbnails. That's what I'm here for, guys. That's why we and keep you around, man. Realistically. That's why I keep myself around. <laughs> <laughs> Just to be that added content. All right. Um. Anyway. Fake laugh. It was. Adrian, Adrian, I was gonna ask you. I was gonna ask you. Mm -hmm. How you feel about the XFL? Uh. 
I think the sentiment's been said before about it, not by me, by other people, but I, I agree with other people. I think XFO and like the USO, USFO should have a merger and it should be bought by the NFL and used as a G League type of thing like the NBA has the G League. Yeah. Because I think there is potential in, you know, not letting all these people who come out of college flop in the NFL and not be able to do they do the thing they did all their life, you know? Yeah. Or give them give, you know, people who who probably couldn't do well in college the ability to play and grow in that type yeah, of setting. But and then, then you gotta pay them, Adrian, and, and ultimately that comes out of our pockets. So no. It well, it's working the for the NBA, so I don't know how it wouldn't work for the NFL. But, but well, then, I think with the NBA, it works because you don't have as many players to pay. Um, yeah. But with I, I totally agree. I think it there should be like a like a G League for the NFL, but it would be hard to make it work during the season. I would say it would have to be like an off season, like season almost. Uh, for it to work, and then you can honestly just be scouting those talents. Well, I mean, it's not like the off season. It's not like the G League doesn't have a lot of teams. They have thirty teams in the G League. Mm-hmm. But I mean, it's still like you don't have as many. Like, what? How many like people are on a roster for each team? It's like maybe twenty. Uh, you got your starting five. Got about twelve, thirteen, something like that on a roster. But in the in the NFL or in the XFL, you would have like yeah, you'd have minimum 52. like fifty, yeah, fifty two. Yeah, and if they do practice squad, imagine being practice squad in the XFL. That's got <laughs> you got to so at that bad. point just not not play. You probably have a. I would probably like make the minimum. Oh, that would be hard. Never mind. Never mind. <laughs> you would probably have to keep it like fifty, fifty two. Yeah, probably. Yeah, fifty two. Yeah, but yeah, if you hit practice squad on the XFL, just retire at that point. Yeah, yeah. might as well retire. Just on might out. as well give up on your hopes and dreams and start a shitty little podcast. Give it an original Two. name. All right, I wasn't gonna go there, Adrian, <laughs> but yeah, you've no. you've twisted the beast. I don't know, sorry. You've unleashed it. What the fuck did you just say? (laughs) What are you doing? What is this? Your mustache is looking very villain esque. Yeah, what what is going going on with the mustache? That's what I'm going for. With the little little, little, like handle, like the little twirly. Just a slight, not like a full on, but just a slight. And then once it fills in, it's going to look cool, I think. You look like Jack Harlow's sexually ambiguous little brother. <laughs> You're going to scare the kids, bro. You're, You're scared. Boy. Stop it. You're going to scare the bitches. You're scaring the... I don't need those, Adrian. You're scaring the hoes. Well, Adrian's not on camera, Gannon, so... Mm. I'm gonna need you to be uh, lore accurate. Yeah. Be canonically, like, on top of it. You know. Yeah. yeah be you, lore right. You get him, girl. All right, Adrian. I'm trying to. <laughs> I am sticking up for you, and I'm just getting roasted on here. Is it all because I yelled at you? I gave you a stern talking to live. You're like my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Say it. Say it again. Minus say the drugs. It. You, no. <laughs> you didn't have to. I was trying to save you. I was gonna be like, eh. oh no, 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 it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Cool, cool, cool. I doubt my family watches this. I thought you said your family was watching. I told Hello, them to, Adrian's but parents. my family is a bunch of lazy people. Where do you think I get it from? I think mine, Loki, did one. I feel Watch like they've one? listened to episode, one episode and I, we scared them off. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. honestly what I think happened. They said, I think that's what happened too with my parents. My heart is actually hurting. <laughs> Why? Not mine. I'm talking about my folks. If they're listening to the early ones, 
Early oh, ones. Oh, yeah, dude. Absolutely. Dude, that was, that was good, man. Thank you, man. I've been harmonizing a boy band. more, bro. See, what I've been doing is taking vocal lessons um, mm-hmm. from... Mm-hmm. I was trying to think of someone that's mute. Could not think of it off the top of my head. So now that's let's... what you look like. You look like you belong in an NSYNC cover band. <sighs> and you Backstreet look like the sound well. guy for that NSYNC cover band. <laughs> <laughs> so fuck Joke's off. on you. I work for the venue, not the band. <laughs> <laughs> nah, bro. You do ticket sales, my boy. <laughs> Jesus, bro. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I, saw I, walk, t- I saw the tickets on the I walked Facebook in there. I say, hey, man, where I put my jacket at, homie? That's what I tell you. Over to the left. <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh, no. That's pretty good. Um, yeah, that was good. That, that was is pretty good. good. Mm. So, mm. you know, I've thought about uh, the effects of... Where are we going with this? Um, I'm, I'm <laughs> trying out. to uh, keep Peace my composure the... and think of something at the same time. Um, here we go. The effects of... These nuts. Uh, All right. Well, those are little effects There's on three. everything, especially LeBron's legacy. So um, that was kind of, you know. Uh, John Morant, can we trust him? He's not good. <laughs> oh, <laughs> what? <laughs> <Can't wait. laughs> Speaking of which, Chase, have you even been checking the fantasy basketball lately? Yeah, Chase. I'll tell you what, I have not been on that at all. I still what, check what, all players every... you, what all players do you have? Who, Chase me? Has, Chase has a great lineup, which is hilarious. I know I you got Elbron. I got LeBron, Steph, Jason He's Tatum, Donovan Mitchell, Luka Doncic, yeah, Don, you have Giannis? Doncic. I have Giannis. Nice. That's my boy. Nice. He's got Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant. Uh, Jason Jeff. Statham? I'm just kidding. DeAndre Ayton. Hey, that's playing some basketball. Damian Lillard, Darius Garland. And he's still 7-7 seven and seven and 1. Who the fuck did you tie with? I think I tied with Trey. Yeah. Tray. <laughs> I ch- I checked it like a month ago just to see what I was doing, but it's so stupid. Like I go and like I actually want to like change my roster, but then it's too late. It all my players are locked in for Who some John reason. Moran? Uh, I think Trey. No, yeah, Trey does. Go. Not yeah, good. again, you were supposed to, you were supposed to be in the league, but then you were like, eh. I will be yeah. next year, and I'm gonna win it. Uh, I don't think so. Ooh, speaking of which. Next year I'm going to try, and next year, no. you know what? Whoever speaking loses of which, has to go to the winner state, so. Boom. <laughs> Everyone else two things, in actually. it has to go to the winner state. I think that's actually pretty cool. That is Anyways. cool, actually. That is a cool stake. Well, maybe. We should we, do that we'll, for we, our we fantasy ran, football we, league, too. Okay, we if you would let me the... speak, I could, I could tell you what I plan to do. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, sure, imp. <laughs> Anyways, I was planning, I'm, I'm going to make some changes to the league. We're going we're gonna to be betting money. We're going to agree on a decent uh, per person, you know, bet we're like, to put like into the pot. Money? Like real money? Yes, real money. Uh, um, gift card, best thing I could do. I'm going to invest in a pretty decent trophy that's going to be going to the winner with nameplates. What kind of trophy are you talking? I'm talking like a like a three four foot. I'll say I'll save you the energy, Adrian. I don't want that shit. No, you what. I you're not going to win, so you wouldn't get it. I I want the trophy, <laughs> but I want it to be able to do something. Do anything with it. Just I mean, it'll make be yours a for giant, a whole make year. a just giant cylinder with a cone on top, and that way we'll be able to do. Something. I want a trophy I can pull a dagger out of. Why? Unrelated. 
I don't think you should be around daggers. <laughs> a couple of them. Um, I want more. I need him in a trophy though. So like like Excalibur from the the Sorcerer's Stone, like zoom, it should but, uh, it should trophy. be it should be the podcast logo maybe. But yeah, the podcast logo would be a part of the trophy, but there'd be like the actual trophy part. There'd be spaces for a bunch of nameplates, and you know, it'll start. Of the years accumulating with the champions and stuff and we're gonna need to make sure you have your uh uh like oh. a, uh show also it could be, it so could be like brooklyn it. it could be like brooklyn 99 so that like whoever wins the competition keeps the trophy for the year until the next person that's what i said yeah that's what i said too um <laughs> so mine was more original <laughs> so, um i think i pieced it off better Honestly, he articulated and himself a lot better. AJ, I was to thinking be on, of to be fair. Th- thank implementing a uh, punishment for the last place player well, as well. Well, Gannon had a good one. The loser has to go to the winner's state. Okay, I like I like that honestly. But and do what though? Like, just hang out. What, what? be that's friends? We're all friends, yeah. Adrian. Jeez. That's not a punishment. <laughs> that's not a do punishment. What? Do you think I want to hang around you losers? <laughs> well, it's it's the winner. The winner gets the money. And gets to hang out with one of the homies. The loser just has to fly out and pay for the plane ticket. Well, how about the loser does something like, I don't know, good that's punishments? Blue. Other, that's not. That's a good punishment. <laughs> that's not a good Adrian, punishment. It is a good one. I saw one one dude one Walk year. Across he hot lost. Coast. He lost. That's a good punishment. No, I would he, not do that. How, how many what? Walk he said, "Walk across hot, uh, hot, hot coals. coals." That's lame. That's a punishment. Or one dude I, I saw, he got a tattoo, and it was Miley Cyrus from the Wrecking Ball video, but his face on it, or the winner's face on it, like the league. The loser has to get foot loose on their foot. <laughs> Something like that. I saw one where uh, somebody had to spend forty, twenty-four hours in a in a Waffle House. And uh, or a IHOP or something? No, it was Waffle House. And the only and he could uh, gain time, or he can take time off depending on how many pancakes or waffles he could eat. So if he that's ate twenty four pancakes, he was he could leave. See, that's a good punishment. Waffle Loser has to get a, a tongue piercing. I'm not doing that. I I refuse. Am I, am I allowed to bring anything into this Waffle House? Not a dagger, preferably not. You would probably, yeah. well, probably not a dagger. What? Well, what do you mean? Like, I don't know. It's probably something that make me hungry. Like, what? I don't know. Weed. <laughs> <laughs> God, you look no. scandalous right um, now. Um, no, no. I saw a punishment <laughs> recently. This dude has to wear a pair of high top pink Osiris shoes for three months straight. Oof, that is rough. That is rough. I, I would wear it. Like they're, <laughs> they're, it'd be a good conversation starter. Mm-hmm. You'd have to tell people, yeah, it's because I I lost uh, my fantasy league. My name's Earl. You Loser has to. I got here. You guys ever seen my name is Earl? <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uncultured. What do you mean? I hey, know. Adrian, you remember when I went through a My Name Is Earl phase, bro? Where yeah, I, we used to watch that. In my my uh, dude, in, I would watch it. I would throw it actually. on all, all the time, bro. It's one of my like feel good shows. If I'm sad and I'm going through it, I'll be watching My Name Is Earl or Workaholics. That's when you know, or BoJack Horseman <laughs> is when you especially know that I'm down the drain, bro. <laughs> Well, see, I'm different. I like watching Workaholics because it's just hilarious. And it's a good time. Always a good time. That's why I put it on because I don't want, I'm trying to laugh, my boy. Are you, you, you tracking? My feel good show is New Girl. I thought it was Footloose. New it's Girl? It's not a show, idiot. It's not a bad show. I New like Girl's New Girl. Good. New Girl's uh, a great show. Started it, never finished. Like Two Broke Girls is actually not bad. Sarah's been watching it. Not I, we know background. why you watch Two Burt Girls, okay, Adrian? We don't need 
to go back to what happened last week. We did not need. <laughs> Anyways, uh, we're getting we're getting close to okay, Adrian. Jesus, you can find Christ. this on all streaming platforms: <laughs> Spotify, Apple Podcast, YouTube is another one. Um, yeah. Pornhub. Not eventually. Yet. We're trying to get the funding. Yeah, yeah. Then there's a Patreon also for three dollars a month. Only three dollars. Only three dollars, indeed. Screechy child. There is also exclusive content on these shows. Wait, only $3 a month? Only $3, indeed, Chase. There's also on the Patreon, Death Our Friend, Next Caller, and more. So much more. More coming. Coming everywhere. Thank you guys for tuning in for this episode. And that was the plug. We're back to the regular broadcasting now. Well, I mean, it was kind of the outro a little bit. Um, I um, guess, do you, guys, do you guys have anything you want to say to the audience? Uh, yeah, Footloose is not that good of a fucking movie. Whatever you put Were you saying that to the audience or were you saying that to me? I was saying it to whoever's fucking listening right now. I like the original. It's decent. Mm-mm. I wouldn't put it in the top a uh, hundred movies of all time. <laughs> I put it in the bottom twenty of all time. I Damn. don't think I put it in the top a thousand of all time. I think I'd put it between Rubber and Sharknado two. No, and I'm talking about the original one still. Um, the sequel though. So am I. <laughs> the sequel. The top sequel's five. good. Top five. Man. Yeah, exactly, dude. The sequel's top, top five. Five, man. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta end myself. <laughs> <laughs> um, he was just reading the script. He was agreeing. Chase. No, he yes, was reading Adrian, the script, you and you you wrote right. the script. And my name is Gannon. Oh, I lost my place. Um, <laughs> <laughs> hang on. Um, no. Yeah, Gannon. What what else? Uh, what do you want to say to the audience? Um, it's on the script. I don't know if you want to read. It. I feel like. A lot of things in this world are going absolutely mad, and I know we joke a lot on here, but keep your head up, guys, out there as you're going through your week. Um, and yeah, you know, if you want to have, come in for a good laugh, come on, come on back, man. If it's your first time, mm-hmm. first timer, you know, we don't have any like Wear a condom. badges or you know cards or anything to give out it's for first timers in here or like discounts or anything. We already we only have three dollars a month for our podcast, also. So you know, but you can listen mm-hmm. to us for free. You know, that's also no. true. For now. Okay. No, we will never monetize us yeah, unless if you want to buy our subscription, comrade. <laughs> <laughs> um. But yeah, man. <sighs> Thanks again for that. Man. That was. That was that was beautiful. That was beautiful. Thank you, man. Um, yeah, I'll just I'll leave it off like what Ganon said. Yeah, we're a happy place. Safe place, um, if you will. Gang, gang. Safe space, happy place, uh, a feel good place. Uh, mm. Tickle your hearts and your pickles. Mm. Mm. That's my job. Um, you just yeah. Uh, um, yeah, man. <laughs> he just. <laughs> Yeah, you guys, he, you he emoted. He did the wrong he, emote right there. He, he did emote. He definitely did. Um, you this taking this crazy. away, Adrian? Look at this. Yeah, guy. it's your he job to do the freaking outro. God, this guy. He oh. takes the intro. That's what he planned. I, I'm doing the outro. Oh. You do the outro. You start the outro off. Gosh, oh. we established this two podcasts ago. Well, you could find us. Oh, no, we already did that. <laughs> well, you could find. I uh, swear to. Gannon, is... you're not even engaged. <laughs> I'm engaged. I'm fully engaged right now, man. Uh, I'm engaged. That I'm... is. That is all time we have. We'll be seeing you guys next episode. My name is Adrian. And I'm Chase. And I was Ammon, will always be. Gannon, peace. Peace out, guys.
Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you.